So we're here at Bellingham Airport today in 6-2 Delta Lima. I'm here with my good friend and fellow instructor, Betsy. So we're going to get out and do some VMC demos today. So for those, that you, those of you that don't know what VMC is, so that VMC stands for Minimum Controllable Airspeed, and this is when you've got one engine operating, the non-critical engine, and you've got the critical engine windmilling. So it's kind of worst-case worst scenario. You've got maximum drag on the left side and maximum power on the, the right side. And so the speed, which is 71 knots in the DA-62, is the speed that you should still be able to control the plane with rudder, but anything below that is there won't be enough rudder authority to keep you keep you going straight. So it's a really important speed on the um, G1000. You can see it as red line. So you see 71 there is is red line. And so yeah, when you're doing multi-engine training, it's definitely a speed you spend a lot of time thinking about and, and talking about. So the VMC demo is a demo where we set up one engine inoperative, the critical engine, and the, the good engine running at full power. And we set up our airspeed to be about 10 knots above VM, uh, VYSE. So VYSE was best single engine climb speed. That's 85 knots, that's blue line in this plane. So we'll set up for about 95 knots, and then the slowly here. pitch up so that we Not bleed the, the speed off about one knot per second, roughly, until one of two things happens. One is we can't maintain directional control anymore, or we get the first indication of a stall. And in either case, that's the stall warning. In either case, we do the same thing. We pitch forward and we pull power back. So we're breaking the stall and we're getting rid of the asymmetric thrust. So that's how we get out of it. And then we recover by recovering at about VYSE, which is blue line 85, and bring power back on the good engine and just recovering. So it's pretty straightforward. It is something you need to be careful of because you are close to either loss of directional control or a stall but um, you know, it's done commonly in, in these maneuvers and um, something, especially as instructors, we do a lot. And if you're doing your uh, multi-engine add-ons, you'll, you'll do a lot. So that's what we're gonna do. So look forward to having you along. So, clearing to We're sort of in between Orcas and North Lumi Hive. Island traffic, Twin Diamond 62 Delta Lima. We're 4,000 feet in between Orcas and North Lumi Island, doing maneuvers between about 3,500 and 4,500 island traffic. Yeah, so why don't I'll just... Oh, do, you, do we need to turn off the... Yeah, the envelope protection. Yes, yeah. yeah. if you want to do that, that would be great. Thank you. Set up to... Exactly. I got it. Yeah, well done. Oh, wait, wait. Set up to... Okay. Orca traffic number 604. Yep, perfect. So the dashes have gone away. Great. And uh, gonna enter left downwind for left 16. Yeah, left turn off. Clear turn radio. Everything else is set up. Okay. So we're at 4,000. Okay. Trevor, I think it's time for you to walk me through a VMC demo. A VMC demo. Okay. So, as we mentioned, we set this up for about 10 knots oh, above VYSE. VYSE is blue line, uh, it's 85, so we, we trimmed for about 95 the knots left with the, the left engine, the critical oh, engine, failed, and the, uh, the right engine at full power. Because I'm, I'm going to be gentle on the engines, I'm not going to leave it at full power, I'm going to probably leave it like at 85 or something. Excellent. Um, we will uh, set up for, for that configuration, 95, and then pitch back at about one knot per second until we see first indication of loss of directional control or a stall. Power up to 85. Okay, do Delta clear of one six, taxi back, Marcus. Uh, at your school, did they allow you to use trim? We didn't use trim. Oh, okay, it, uh, okay. We did it for the drag demo, but not for the not VMC demo. Not for the VMC demo, demo. Yeah. okay, yeah. I know it depends on, some do and some don't. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get set it, up. Um, I think when you're not able to use the um, rudder trim, um, it goes a little faster because yeah. 
you're not necessarily going to actually be able to get all the way to stall. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We just had 95, okay. so I'm pulling back. One knot per second. Staying really coordinated. Nice. Yep. There we go. I think, what was it, about 70 or yeah, high? Low 70? We got to a little, we got to about 74. Okay. Stay. Hitting. Yep. There we there go. There you go. Okay, so pitch, break the stall, and bring the power back in. Check gear. There we go. Seven. Looking to recover the blue line. Blue line. There we go. And recover it. Blue line. Blue line. Blue line. Yeah, so it looks like it's not going to tolerate much more than five degrees nose up at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when we're being really nice to the engine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. And we do want to do that. And are we getting any climb at that point? It's coming in, so we're yeah, we're getting probably getting a little bit of climb at the Okay. Yeah, 100, 100 feet per minute. Yeah, just a little bit of positive rate. Yeah. Bit more. yeah. Okay. Hot day. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna bring the engines back together. Yep. Then we can turn it around and turn. Yeah, so we just bring the power up on the dead engine, bring the power down on the good engine. Okay, so I've got more Get the trim out. Maybe we'll just turn 90 degrees yep. that way just to... Nice recovery. Thank you. Nice demo, nice recovery. That's what a VMC demo looks like. Yeah, the smoother, I mean, the master class is when you can really smoothly nail VYSE and just bring right, it out. Right, right. And now I'll give my legs a rest. There you go. Do you have a turn? Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, your airplane? My airplane? Okay. Water. So we're trying to just keep this right at 95. I'm pretty sure the ACS says 10 knots above VYC. Okay. So that's what I... All right. So we're gonna, gonna enter the lose our right or lose our left yeah, engine. Down here and enter the out a pattern, uh, 1, I'll do that for you. That. you. And bring the right engine up to about 80. And nose down to pitch for 95. Yeah, that's what I found. Yeah, yeah, this altitude needs to do that. Yeah, you're not kidding. Okay, so we're pitching for 95. Yep. And we're just gonna slowly. Once we get there, we're just gonna slowly pitch up. Yep. We're holding, heading, and we've got uh, Lummi Island right in front of us. Looks good. So there's 95. Yep. So now we're just going to pitch up, slowly pitch up, and we're looking for red line, or stall, or loss hey, of directional down. control. And we can barely hold it, <laughs> barely hold it. And there it goes. The nose is going over. So now we're just going to bring the power back, maintain directional control, start bringing the power back in, keep our nose down to get to VYSE. Yep. Beautiful. And now we're just going to slowly pitch up. We're going to try to get ourselves back to 80, but then slowly pitch up until we've got a positive rate of climb. Yep. Right at VYSE. Yep. Right there. Beautiful. Yep. Great. Okay, now we got a positive, almost positive rate of climb. And bring that nose back around.